In the long and lean workout, we have this beautiful sequence that Cassie's doing right now. I love the sequence where she starts with the bicep curls. There's a couple of them. We'll just do one for now. Then bring your arms out in front. Nice long front raise out to the side, stabilizing in the shoulder, up overhead. Then she moves into this triceps extension. Arms reach back up overhead, come straight out to the side, stop at shoulder height, back to the front, mm -hmm. and then back all the way down to the bicep curls. Go ahead and come all the way through and back to the tricep extension for me. I want to... You want me to just Yeah, just come up? straight okay. into it. Yeah, let's just look at this part. I want to isolate this part of the sequence and this trainer tip because what I see a lot happening when people do it, go ahead and do some reps here, is it's very challenging to hold the body position. This is great for trunk and spine stabilization because you see all the energy is trying to pull her back. So if she didn't hold on with her core firmly, she would actually start to lean back. Go ahead and just be um, lackadaisical about it. See how it's pulling her back? She could eventually fall over. So this is a great exercise, but requires a lot of control. You want to keep your shoulders just in front of your hips with that beautiful upper body alignment. And then allow the hands to come back behind you without letting your shoulders come back. Press all the way up and go ahead and take a break for a second. So imagine beautiful posture, really sitting up nice and tall through the entire spine, but now you've got these cables trying to pull you back. So think about how hard the core has to work. So trainers, when you're out there doing this part of the sequence with your clients, really watch the entire line from the head, down the shoulders, all the way down to the base of their pelvis and see if anything gets thrown off. What do you think? Pretty tough one? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So enjoy that exercise.